Hello, Masan Nawana. Uh, welcome to Masan Nawana Fan Vlog. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, MTN8 Final 2021, the most elusive uh, trophy in, in our cabinet in recent years. And uh, we finally have it. Uh, I'm here with uh, a special guest. <laughs> Who's special guest then? No, I guess special. <laughs> <laughs> I guess special. I'm your friend. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, I'm here with Grand Kekana, man. Um, like, where do we even begin? Uh, <laughs> we don't have the whole, we don't have five hours. <laughs> we don't have five hours. Yeah. Bro. You see, we're wearing Chris t-shirts, we want to go home. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man, I mean, uh, Grant, uh, you signed for Sundowns. Um, of course, most uh, most of the talk is, uh, where's Grant going? Like, we have so much talent, uh, there's better options out there. No one saw your signing coming, and you come here and you 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 get your chance and you use your chance. How how has it been like settling from the day you started to us uh, sitting here now? Um, I think it's been good. Um, you know, um, I'd like to give like a lot of credit to the players. You know, I know mo uh, a whole lot of them. I played with them um, previously at Super Sport or at Tux. You know, and. Mm -hmm. We've always had like a bond between us, you know. So even when I came to Sundowns, you know, they welcomed me well. Um, you know, they made it easy for me to gel with all the other players that I was um, that I wasn't so familiar with, you know. And it's made the journey that much better. Yeah, and uh, you know, when you when you when you started your first game, uh, <laughs> I remember like I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try my best to just watch the game like holistically and not nitpick on your performance or, or whatnot. Um, can you take me through uh, what you were going through like when you made your debut uh, against Chipper? Um, yeah, um, I won't lie, there was a lot of nerves, you know. Um, obviously, also because I wasn't that accustomed to the style of play that Mami Lodi Sundowns plays, you know. So mm. I was, in my head, I was just saying, you know, don't make too many mistakes, don't try too hard, mm. just keep it simple, um, you know, and then gradually get your confidence as the game goes, mm. you know, and that's um, the step that I took, you know, and unfortunately we didn't get the three points we drew, mm. um, but, you know, I can say that, you know, that sort of, that game was the game that sort of said, you know what, you're here now, mm. um, and this is what's going to be expected of you each and every game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know um, the saying that says like you took a, you, you you took like a fish to water, and since that game, um, a lot of people have seen what you can offer. And you know, I was thinking to myself, Kere, throughout your career, you've played for teams that are always uh, a bit more rigid, uh, teams that are not as ex as expensive and exploring the way Sundowns does. And now, like you have so much time on the ball, which is something that most people haven't seen. So. I think that's what even surprised most people, like Obana, how you gelled and how comfortable you are on the ball. But maybe like like just to like backtrack to today, um, <laughs> you you start the first final in your first season, you you start. You know, like a, a team like Mamelodi Sundowns, it's not that easy to just come here and get games going, and especially like you play in a final. And how 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 was your experience? Uh, your first cup final. Yeah, in a trophy was, that you're so familiar with. It was nerve-wracking, I won't lie, especially when it got to the penalties, you know. But overall in the game, I think we played quite well. We dominated, mm. you know. Mm. We're just unfortunate not to have converted one or two more goals, mm. you know. But credit to, to Dennis also, you know. Um, I think he gave us a lifeline, you know. And, you know, the penalties proved how elusive it's been for um, Mamelodi Sundowns to get this trophy, you know. And we had to go through the worst. Um, you know, and we, we finally got it, um, mm. and we, we can be happy. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, most of the guys who are here, like, it's a trophy that we haven't been winning, and we're not going to support you're used to it, it was your bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we, we have this one out of the way, you know, like, the, the focus is always to win the, the league title and to do well in the Champions League and uh, hopefully get to a final and try to to win it. And but. What does it do for you, like as a player? And you know, obviously, like you have ambitions, and you come to a big team, Grant, and you know, you you are not like a marquee signing. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. uh, you are signing that like no one saw coming, and you 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 just come here and you 
you you play so well. Like I've, I've uh, this is so far this is so far the best football I've seen you playing, uh, and I think it's a style that suits you as well. And um, I mean, winning your first trophy is it relief for you to say now I can go on and do other things, or is it just what you expected to come here and do? You know, when I came to Sundowns, I was told even Coach Rulani always emphasizes to all of us, you know, the standards here are high. Um, we expect only the best, you know. So when this, well, as this trophy is here now, you know, we can't relax and say it's it's one done, we're done. You know, we have a whole lot more assignments. There's the league, there's net bank, there's CAF. Mm. You know, so we're just happy that we got this one out the way. Um, can fully concentrate on the league until the year ends. Mm. You know, and take it from there. But um, when you come to a club like Sundowns, you're expected to win all the games. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. That's the challenge um, that I've been challenged with, um, if I can so say. But it's one that I'm relishing in because, you know, I also wanted to test myself, go out of my comfort zone, um, see what I can also do. Um, you know, and so far it's going so well. You know, there's support not only from the technical team but from the players in general. You know, all just made me feel at home. You know, it feels like I've been here forever, and mm. it's only been four months. Yeah. You know. Um, it's my first trophy also in four months, you know, yeah. so I'm only wishing and hoping for the best, you know, but we, we're going to keep working, you know, this is only the, the beginning of great things to come. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm so glad to hear you say that because, you know, like, maybe some players will think like, ah, I did what I was supposed to do, like, oh, at least like there's one trophy in the bag, so it means like it's a breather, but for you, like, it, it adds more pressure to you, like, do you, do you now uh, look into winning more titles do you in uh, Gilobona like you had the taste of the sugar like <laughs> and how, it's nice how yeah how uh, badly do you so want so I want more I want more of this feeling you know I think everyone um, in the team can resonate with what I'm feeling mm. um, you know winning is always nice um, so we want to keep going um, and achieve you know as much as we can achieve I yeah. think we have a whole lot of quality in the team you know we've proven it and Sundowns has proven it um, in the past five six years you know yeah. they've been dominant yeah. you know and we don't want to come here and also just add numbers and then you know we don't make things happen you know we want yeah. to contribute to the team success and you know we just want we just want to keep on winning yeah and we, we firmly keep our feet on the ground you know we humble about it you know we work hard but you know, the end goal is to is to win trophies. <laughs> and in true Sundowns fashion, there's no time to even celebrate this one because on Wednesday we have uh, another big game. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, we'll just we'll celebrate today easily, take it easy, travel back home tomorrow, and then prepare again from Monday. Yeah. 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 No, I, I don't want to keep you for long, man. Uh, you've 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 end your rest today. Ah. <laughs> if, if 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 we hadn't won this game, like, we'd probably do this interview yeah. for an hour. But you know, like just to touch base and see how you are you you're handling uh, uh, being at Sundance now and uh, how things are going. Uh, hopefully, next time we talk, there's more medals. Uh, yeah. On your definitely, neck. Definitely. And that one, that one that you want. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> There's two that are on, but we'll keep we, it, we'll you keep know? it quiet. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to jinx it. Yeah, put yeah. your head down and keep grinding. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. yeah, and uh, on his grand's birthday today. Uh. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. Uh, yeah. Grant, uh, on a fan vlog. Uh, we'll keep, keep bringing you this type of content. And uh, yeah, man, uh, it's time to go to bed now. Um, heading my way, Grant is heading his way, and uh, we'll see you guys on Wednesday. It's been a pleasure. Cabo Yellow.